You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. Good morning. Time for another episode of Combat Radio. We survived Comic-Con. We were down there in partnership with Mattel Toys along with Dirk Benedict, Dwight Schultz, and members of the A-Team. My co-host Mark Ryan is still there as part of the cast of Black Sails. They had the screening of the Pirate Epic's first episode last night. Should be pretty intense. Excellent setup for the show. The Stars Network definitely appears to have a hit on their hands. More facts, figures, and craziness coming up. You want to find us on Facebook, you can actually follow the images of the show and some video live through Instagram at Combat Radio. And time to start this craziness. Actually, joining me in studio, just walked in as a man we owe a lot of credit to. Uh, he's my uh, co-host of the moment here, a guy who stepped in quite a bit. He's a hero to all of us. As many of you know, we on uh, on May 5th had a Celebrity Charity Soccer Invitational to uh, raise money for Project Kindle and for some respirators uh, for a children's hospital. And we got those respirators, and you can go to my Facebook page or the Combat Radio Facebook page and see images of those respirators at work. Uh, this man actually, he's more known on the street as Bato from Ghost in the Shell, but his work with Star Wars and all these other fantastic projects. I mean, the guy, unfortunately for us, has a resume that's about the size of the Yellow Pages, so it's tough to zero in on what points of interest because he's got so many, but we'll try to cover some of it today. Richard Epcar is in studio here with Hi. us. How are you? How's Fantastic. Everybody? How are you? I'm good, and actually the only hero here is you, my friend. No, you're, you're the one that put the thing together, and you're you should get the kudos for that because that was fantastic. No, I don't, I don't, job. I don't deserve any credit for that. Yes, I mean, you honestly, do. you can come up with an idea, but until people, and in your case particularly, you had a job, you were on a job, <laughs> and uh, ideally, it was not the best situation. You were like, well, man, I'm working, and then when I explained to you what it was for, your exact text, I believe, for the listeners was, fuck it, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse that's my language. Right. No, that's you know. true. Yeah. Also joining us is his lovely wife, Ellen Stern Epcar. Very good. Hi. Hello, hello. Welcome to the studio. Thank and, you. And then online with us is a good friend of ours. As many of you know, August 1st is opening night of the legendary one-man play, Tuxedo Man, classic that it is. And it's helmed by the absolute genius, good friend of combat radio across the board, uh... Mr. Zach Hoffman, as many of you know from Zartan, it was Zartan and G.I. Joe and many fantastic things. Hoffman, how are you today? I am excellent. How are you guys doing? We're good, man. We're good. It's funny because uh, Epcar goes, oh, well, when you talk to Zach, tell him hello. But here everyone's on the on the line together. Hey, Zach. Hey, Hi, Zach. how are you? Everyone's good, man. We're looking forward to the opening of Tuxedo Man. That Thursday night is Combat Radio Night. We'll be giving away tickets. You can find out how by going to our Combat Radio Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow me personally on Twitter, which is Combat Radio or Combat Radio HQ. And, you know, you can get some tickets. You can join us. You can meet Zach. He's fairly legendary. And I understand he's wearing the same 1970s tuxedo uh, he first hit the town in when he hung out with Sinatra, correct? Is that the, is that uh, the rumor? That would be Nick Sands, and yes, he is exactly dressed like that. I think people are in for kind of a unique situation with us. We don't actually uh, uh, helm or support or partner with a lot of theater, not because we don't like to. Obviously, the, culture imp- the cultural impacts of it are, are pretty good, but we'd like to do more of it. But this is kind of a unique twist for our listeners. Um and here we have an opportunity to do it with a good friend of ours who's helped us out quite a bit. And on, honestly, Zach, on a side note, your Zartan autographed 8x10s were quite the hit at a lot of our silent, charitable silent auctions. So it's it's a win-win-win all around. All right. And I have, I have, I have, I have stepped it up for the next uh, charity. So I just want to let you know that. <laughs> well, let, listen, one day we're going to be walking through the Hard Rock and we're going to see your tuxedo on one of the, in one of those glass cases. Hey. Oh, from your uh, from your lips, you know yeah. that's all I can say. Be, uh, I just I just want to say I am I'm so excited about this because uh, I have never uh, done a Q and A, and and so th- this is really fun for me because usually when I I finish the show, that's when people leave and and the people get to discuss it and I never get privy to you know what what people say about it. So so this will be a, a great a great deal for me. Well, it's not only, I mean, some people say they've never done a Q&A, and other people say they regret doing a Q&A, where I've actually <laughs> done the questions from the crowd. So, for our listeners who don't know, take us through the evolution that is Tuxedo Man. Well, let me just say that Tuxedo Man is a, a, a comic uh, 
gritty love poem to Los Angeles. And also, it's also about nostalgia and days gone by. And here's the setting. Uh, he, he's a guy in Cleveland, Ohio, that's been given one more chance to put on the tuxedo and sing at Mandolin's restaurant. And we see him behind the stage uh, getting ready to go on, and then the stage rotates 180 degrees. He's on at Mandolin's restaurant. You get to see this set that he's been doing for the last 40 years of his life, and then the stage turns back again to the alleyway and you get to see him after he's performed. So I've always wanted to make uh, a character who I've met. You know, these guys that, that have been pros for so many years, nobody's really presented them as a three-dimensional character, and, and that's what I, I'm hoping to do. And the audience will decide if I've accomplished that or not. Yeah, it's going to be good for us. And it's actually a three-night run at the White Fire Theater on Ventura, which is a good place to see a show like this. Night and all, all you have to do is go to brownpapertickets.com and uh, look up Tuxedo Man, and you bang, you're right there. Uh, or you can go to my website, zachhoffman.com, click Tuxedo Man, and there's a link that will get you there. I would actually suggest, yeah, you can go to Brown Paper Tickets. You can also, I would say go to the website and interact with Zach. See some of his work. The guy's brilliant. See what he's done. And uh, What are the dates? You know, uh, it's August 1st through the 3rd, August 1st being Thursday night, and that's Combat Radio Night. Thursday, uh, August 1st, Combat Radio Night, and then Friday and Saturday, August uh, 2nd and 3rd. You want to go to it? I do, I do. Ellen and I would love to go to it. Then I got your tickets right here. Awesome. All right, we're going to have to break off the tickets. We will hook you up. Yes. Good, because I have some great questions to ask you. Oh, sh. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Already you can sense where this is going. Mm. Yes, but you know what, though, Zach? You're going to be good at that kind of thing, man. You're a fun guy good conversationalist, and quite frankly, the piece is riveting, so it's all going to work across the board. You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. 